Working out can be hard, but it's actually getting yourself to the gym or figuring out what you want to do. And there's a ton of different fitness apps out there nowadays, but most of them are either expensive or just not very good. So when I found out that Nike has a free training app called Nike Training Club, I knew I had to try it out. So for day one, I want to do an upper body workout. So I found this workout that's called Upper Body Sculpt. It is 24 minutes, so it's high intensity, intermediate level. Um, I'm going to kind of scroll down and show you uh, what it has. I like that it shows the equipment that you need. So I need some light dumbbells and some moderate dumbbells. And then it just says dumbbells, so I think two sets of dumbbells. Um, and I'm just like going through, scrolling down. And my one concern is that it's not showing any rest time, so I hope it's like incorporated in there somewhere because I don't know how I'm supposed to not have a rest for 24 minutes. It does say high intensity though, so maybe that's why it's high intensity because there's no rest. So I'm going to go and get uh, the demo line. So I chose to get some 10 pound dumbbells and some 15 pounds. We'll see if that's what I end up using the whole time. But yeah, I think we're just gonna go for it. push-ups, I think. Uh, so we're doing another round right now. So far, pretty good. I think it's a good intensity. My breath is kind of up. My breath. I'm like breathing kind of hard. Uh, but it's doable. So I didn't really give my final thoughts of how I thought day one went, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to head in for day two of using the Nike Training Club app. So things that I really liked, I liked how there was videos of all the exercises that they wanted you to do so you could follow along if you had never heard of the exercise before. I also liked that you could listen to your own music while you were on the app, so that was good. I could have my like Spotify playing while also using the app. And then the there was like an instructor that would give you cues every like 10 seconds or so, either like saying, oh, like 10 seconds left, keep going, or giving you just like verbal cues, a uh, proper form. Um, I haven't played around to see if I can turn any of those things off, so I might try and mess around with that today so I can like have less cueing and I can like listen to my music a little bit more. But I really liked it. I thought the intensity was very good. I was a little bit worried about uh, the minimal rest breaks. I think I got like 10 seconds between switching exercises. Uh, but since it was high intensity and sort of a shorter workout than what I normally do, it was like 25 minutes, and usually my workouts are 45 minutes, I thought that it was like the same intensity as my full workout, but in a shorter amount of time, and so I was sweating a little bit more than I normally was, and I thought it was a really good workout, so I'm excited for it today. I'm going to try and do a leg workout, so I'm going to the brows, and let's go to glutes and legs and see if we can find uh, something that I want to do. Something that I've noticed is as I'm looking through the workouts, these are all like relatively short for what I want to do, like... I would like a 30 to 45 minute leg workout that has like more strength training stuff um, and like equipment like maybe a barbell or something but the equipment for this stuff is like no equipment to basic equipment which I believe is just dumbbells and like a lot of it is like 15 minutes and stuff so I don't know if I'm gonna like maybe double up either two leg workouts or if I'm gonna like do some of my own stuff and then incorporate one of these I think which one do I want to do I think I'm going to do this glute toner. It looks like it's about 18 minutes, moderate intensity, level intermediate, requires some moderate dumbbells. So, 
will try this out, and then if I feel like I need to do more stuff, then I will. Okay, so I did indeed find in the workout settings, so if I have a settings thing, I can uh, control the audio, so I have drill timing and guidance, basic, which is just drill timing or none. I think I'll just do the basic, so I can like, still have the timing and stuff, so I don't have to look at my phone the entire time. Yeah, that's nice. I'm going to start my workout. Um, I'll show the workout that I'm going to be doing on the screen. I'm going to try and get a few less clips today just because I want to actually not have to worry about setting up my phone and getting good shots and stuff. I'll get a couple, but I would like to most like be into the fun workout. So it's gonna be 15 minutes. I think it's gonna be hard, but we'll get through it. And then I don't know if I'm gonna do anything after that. We'll see. Uh, it was about 15 minutes. That was pretty good. It was a little bit more full body than I anticipated because it was just labeled as abs and core. Yeah, like my shoulders and my legs. Also got quite a bit of a workout. I don't think I'm going to do anything else because I have a lot to do this evening. I also have a hair tie, so I just don't really feel like working out anymore. But yeah, I thought it was pretty solid and effective 15 minute workout. So yeah, day three on. my voice is like missing right now um i'm feeling a little bit under the weather this video is actually supposed to be me doing the app for five days in the week uh but i only did four because the fifth day hit and this all came on so um i'm just doing the outro and trying to run through that as fast as possible because my voice is clearly not having it okay so pros of the app it was very user friendly it was free obviously that's a big one and they have a ton of workouts and they don't even really require that much equipment some of the cons that I noticed within the app are that the workouts are relatively short and a lot of them seem to be more endurance based instead of strength based. So if that doesn't align with your goals, it might be hard to find a workout that will work for you. So ultimately, would I recommend this app and do I see myself using it? I feel like it's kind of a no-brainer. It's free, so you can always just try it out and if you aren't going to use it or you don't like it that much, you could just delete it. I think that I might keep it and then just if I know I need to do a workout, but I don't know what I want to do, I could see myself going to the app and just finding something quick on there. So yeah, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Again, I apologize for my voice. I was going to do some uh, voiceovers and stuff throughout, uh, but that's why I opted for a ton of text because I figured you didn't want to hear all of this going on. That being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed and we will see you guys next Tuesday. Bye.